Hello! So, in this one we're going to begin the animation. The very first thing I do is I use the Images as Planes add-on to add in a video of the uh, current thing that I'm actually going to do. Now you're going to see how that I start to do this. I get quicker as I go through. And I won't be doing the entire animation in this because it's going to take a long time. Rather than giving you a three hour long video, I'm going to do it part by part. Um, just a little way in, sped up, of course, and then I'll um, finish off the rest by myself once I think that I've done everything that you can see. So you can ignore the background, I chose to keep it there because I think it looks kind of nice. But uh, what I'm actually doing here is I'm just moving the bar along the bottom until I can get to parts that I can see as keyframes. And then I'll position the body using the rig to match that keyframe. And that's all I'm going to do all the way through, and then I key it. Uh, any parts that I see that need to be slightly adjusted, I will adjust them. As you can see, I'm sort of going through, making sure not to stretch any body parts, trying where I can to avoid the body parts clipping into each other. Because I want to do a cloth simulation over the top, which means I need to ensure that I don't have the body clipping into itself, or I'll completely ruin a cloth simulation. Um, there are parts later on that you'll notice that do in fact have bits where it clips in on itself and it does me great annoyance but I go through those and I'll fix them all. Um, once I'm finished as well I will also go back over it, check anywhere that I think is going to be a problem area. Uh, I'm going to look for parts where the um, hands flip. So a common issue when you do this is that because the hands can technically turn full 360 degrees they turn that 360 and then they do an extra one and then I go up to 361 and it has to do a full rotate backwards back to one and you'll notice that later on but we haven't got to that yet. So all I'm currently doing as you can sort of see is making my way through and trying to make sure that every bone moves because in order to make it look at least somewhat realistic body parts don't stay the same. Like you won't be able to move one arm and keep the other arm completely deadly still without shaking even slightly. So everywhere needs to move even a little bit on every frame. You don't want anywhere to stay completely stationary or start to look like you're doing the robot. But uh, yeah, it's fairly simple to do and you'll see me trying to sort of match it up as I go. And I'll keep jumping back and making adjustments, twisting the body around, Knowing that I want to do cloth on it means that I don't have to worry too much about the body other than the fact that I need it to move because I want it to sway the cloth around. But uh, yeah, as you can sort of see, I'm just matching it all up. I won't talk for, well, I probably will talk throughout the whole of this video, but yeah, there's a, a lot of weird thrusting motions in this uh, particular thing. Also, full credit to the TikTok author for uploading the um, TikTok that I'm using in this. I will actually, uh, no, I can't, but <laughs> if you look at the image, you can see that it has got a watermark on it, so check them out, obviously. Um, they don't own the song that was used in this, um, uh, nor do I, so I haven't used the song. Um, but yeah, uh, show appreciation to your reference people. So yeah, you can sort of see how it's going now, um, and you can see how long this is going to take me. Uh, for reference, this is a 902 frame animation. Um, I had had to calculate it all, but yeah, it's exactly 902 frames. So it's going to take me some time, which is why I don't do the full animation here. Uh, I think I go up to about 100-ish. Um, also worth noting that although I've gone um, way past the amount of... Uh, that, like gone quite far into it. I think I'm at 145-ish at the moment. That doesn't mean that those 145 are done, because I'm going to have to go over them. I'm going to make sure that I tweak the animation and the individual movements of limbs to be a lot more precise. So in between each of these keyframes, I might need to add additional keyframes for transition periods. So for example, if you need your arm to go from facing downwards to facing upwards, I don't want it to sort of do a weird rotate which would snap the arm in half. I need it to actually move around. Um, that can be quite difficult to do. But anyway, 
thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, hit like and subscribe, all that jazz. But uh, yeah, have a good evening, dudes.